What's up everybody? Well, I got another video for you guys today and this time it's not a gameplay video I realized I never showed you guys what the BIOS of this thing looks like at all whatsoever So I figured in today's video we would just quickly go over uh, all the different BIOS settings It's not a very big or advanced BIOS, so it's not gonna be a long video But figured I'd at least show people what's in there if they were curious So why don't we get a little closer or get this camera a little bit closer to the laptop so you guys can see a little better and get on with this video, shall we? All right, we're in the BIOS as uh, it comes stock. It's just where you hold F2 down before you hit the power button and don't release F2 until you see this screen. So there's the screen you're greeted with. It's very, very basic. You can't do much with it, uh, but you can click on different things. Hopefully you guys can see too, by the way. I kind of set the camera up the way I do when I do camera recorded gameplay when I'm just on the laptop itself, but you don't really have a problem seeing games, but hopefully you'll be able to see all these small little letters and numbers too. If not, I'll have to redo this video and it shows you your LCD and your USB ports. It says we've got a Corsair Gaming K70 RGB Rapid Fire keyboard, and then we've got the Asus keyboard. You got all sorts of stuff. Then we got your storage. You can see both of your drives. You've got two like me. Oh, I guess not. You just see more. You just see more info on the one storage. I lied. And then you can go up here to your boot priority, which I'm not gonna mess with. So then, if you hit F7, you go into an advanced BIOS. So let's talk about that. Okay, so here's what the first page of the advanced BIOS looks like. It says that our BIOS vendors, American Megatrends, we're on BIOS version 3.16, GOP version 2.16. You can see your EC version here, which mine is G513QYEC.049. Then it gives you some processor information, which mine is the Ryzen 9 5900HX at 3300 megahertz without any turbo. It says that we've got my 32 gig of, of RAM installed. It'll show you your serial number as well, which mine is an M6. Obviously, it's one of the best M6 ever because I haven't had like any problems at all. Uh, anyway, though, and then you got your MAC address. Now, why don't we move on to the next tab? Moving right along to the advanced tab of the advanced settings. Funny how that works. You've got your Armored Crate Control Interface Support. This is basically what allows that Armory Crate program to mess around with your CPU and GPU. So if you turn that off, that program won't be able to control anything anymore. Then you've got your CPU virtualization here, so you can do, uh, what do you call them? Virtual machines and whatnot of your various choosing if you don't like that and want to turn it off for whatever reason. Like maybe it's messing up with a program you want to use. I don't know. Just coming up with solutions here, but you could turn it off right here if you wanted to. Then you've got your flash utility here, which I don't ever use. I always just download it from uh, the Windows app and install it like an application. It's a lot easier, a lot less to mess up. Then you've got your smart settings here, SSD hard, uh, slash hard drive stuff. There's not much hard drives, but smart did start with hard drive. Then you've got your network stack configuration here, which is just, I actually don't honestly know what a network stack is, but if you do know what it is, you can enable it and disable it here. And that's the only network sec or network option. Then you've got your US USB configuration, which is literally just allowing it to do USB mass storage driver support or not. So you can enable that here. And if we go back, your SATA configuration, you can do your SATA mode, which should at this point in life always be AHCI at this point. You do not need the IEDE. That's old school trash at this point. Then you got your MBME configuration. So it's telling you all about your MBME drive. This time it's telling me about both. I can see both my two terabyte one and the five uh, 12 gig one that comes stock. And then last but not least, you can do animo animation post logo audio. So I guess that makes the little audio thing when this thing turns on, keep going and make more noise. That's what I would assume. All right, we're done with this screen. So now why don't we move along to the boot screen? Now we're on the boot screen. So all we have here is literally just one boot option, which is Windows. And you can also add more boot options. If you have another SSD with like Linux on it or something, you can set it that set all that stuff up here. So uh, honestly, that's all that's really here. If you click on this, you can pick that or disable it. But beyond that, that's it. So I guess why don't we just move on to security already? All right, now we are on the security tab, which just has different passwords. You can set a password for your BIOS, I believe here. Use your password as well. You have IO interface security, which you can basically just lock and unlock these various items and then you've got your uh, secure boot right here which right now it's enabled then you also have key management and then let's check out the last uh, last tab here well now we're on the last tab the save and exit tab which we just have save and exit so if you've messed with your stuff and you just want to save and exit you can go right there if you've 
mess with some shit you're not really sure about and you're like, eh, maybe I just don't want to do anything. You can just discard everything you've done and exit and everything will stay the same. You can click save changed right here. You can also discard changes and then even if you did mess something up, you can always just restore defaults right there. And that's pretty much it. It's an extraordinarily basic BIOS. Speaking of which, we'll finish the video with it just on the basic BIOS. But that's pretty much it. So hopefully you uh, guys enjoyed this small little BIOS exploration video. It's kind of basic, you can't really do much, you can't really disable too much, but hey, it's there. Well, this video's basically a wrap, so I hope you guys enjoyed this short little BIOS walkthrough. Uh, I'm gonna go try editing this video now, hopefully everybody will be able to see everything. If you can't see anything, I'll try to come up with a different way to do this, but hopefully it won't come to that. But obviously just let me know in the comments, and hopefully you enjoyed this video, and until the next one, peace out everybody.